Thanks very much. It's day two for the Major League Soccer era in Cincinnati, and there's a whole lot of work to be done. FC Cincinnati won't play its first MLS game until next spring, but as Joe Webb tells us live from Nippert Stadium, there are a lot of things that are already in the works, right Joe? That's right, Cammie. You know, Nippert Stadium is just one of the things that's in the works. You know, the locker rooms, the facilities here are all going to have to be upgraded by next spring because they're going to play two MLS seasons here at Nippert Stadium starting in 2019. You know, the MLS bid has been a long, drawn-out process, and it was a dream that came true yesterday. But today, the work begins. It's just another day of practice for the local USL team, but not just another day for the franchise. Cincinnati, Ohio is officially granted the newest expansion club in Major League Soccer. Welcome FC Cincinnati! Yesterday's announcement got a lot of things rolling, and the players weren't the only people on the payroll getting an early start today. We have a full staff meeting with our stadium project manager. Uh, who's going to help us organize and manage building a you know, 200 to $250 million MLS stadium in the West End. Property acquisition for the West End location continues for both the MLS stadium and a new Stargill stadium for Taft High School. The team closed on the old City Rama property today. We could be underway on the new Stargill by the end of July, uh, and I think we'll have a groundbreaking uh, on the new MLS stadium before the end of this year. All of FC Cincinnati's fan gear will switch from Nike to Adidas, and there will be some changes to the look. But the biggest change, ultimately, will be the level of play. FC Cincinnati will have to field a major league team. We're essentially going to wear two different hats uh, during the course of the season, is maximize what we have here with this, this group and try to be as successful as we can this year while we're building something for the future. FCC will increase its scouting department to prepare for the expansion draft, MLS draft, and reentry draft. They will also scour the soccer world for free agents, and they're already getting some help. I must have had two dozen emails yesterday from agents from all over the world uh, pitching uh, players to Cincinnati, so it's going to be a lot of fun. For some, maybe not for others. For the existing FC Cincinnati players, the rest of this season will be an unofficial tryout for MLS. This is their opportunity. They have the first opportunity ahead of everybody else. If they can show this club and these fans what they're capable of and they deserve to have a spot in the Summers team, they're going to get that spot. And the team will officially change its name from Football Club Cincinnati to Foosball Club Cincinnati. Either way, it's, a, it's meant to show, the, meant to reflect the city's German heritage, and it doesn't matter whether it's football or foosball, it's still going to be FC Cincinnati. They're still going to be blue and orange, and Cami, they're still going to be in Major League Soccer this time next year. Reporting live from Nippert Stadium, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Cami? Joe, do you know how we spell foosball? Is it like F O O S, like the kind we used to play on the table? No, it is F U S S B A L L, is how it's commonly spelled, but there's actually a German character, a letter that represents those two S's. Uh, I've seen it. I can't, I can't get it. I can't call the character up on my typewriter, uh, but that's something, that's one of the upgrades that I'm going to have to make uh, between now and 2019 as well. Yeah, I hear you. All right, Joe, thank you. <laughs> Tickets went on sale today for FC Cincinnati's next home game. It's the fourth round of the U.S. Open Cup Wednesday night against another recent MLS expansion team, and that's Minnesota United FC.